you know, it's, it's just you turn down a track in like a little lane and you come all the way down. And this is the way, this is the way, <coughs> this is the way that you come down, down this dirt track here. So, if I just go up to this map now, by you, there, so if you can see Chemice now, you can get, get the geography of the place. And this is where we came down here, look. Oops, there we go. That's where we came down, and we're parked in here. No motorboats, no jet skis, eight knots maximum. Yes, you can go kayaking. Um, you can go with a small sailing boat as well. Um, so it's pretty good. Lots to offer, beautiful scenery. Sheeps, van, and we're going to have a walk along there later on. So you can walk all the way along that prom, and there's a bell over there, a tide bell. Can you see it just over there in the distance? So as the tide comes in, it actually rings the bell. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. And as you can see there, oyster catchers, look. We'll zoom in down. Lesson. So there's the bay. There's a rocky enclosure there. And as you can see, it's starting to fade because the sea, uh, sorry, the, the rain is coming down, so it's making it look quite misty. But this is lovely, look at this. Benches all along here. I think that's public toilets up around there, I'm not sure. We'll have a look. And there's a nice little harbour there, look, with the boats in. And if you like fishing, who knows, you might be able to get onto that harbour wall there and throw a rod over the end, who knows. Yeah, Tracy said earlier, she says, have you seen the size of this blackback? And there it is, look. Yeah. That's uh, one of the larger of our goals. There's Chemice on the map. So here we have Anglesey, <coughs> Holyhead, right up the top here. There's Chemice Bay, see it up there? That's to give you your orientation. That's the road you can come in on. Coming on to the old bridge over the 5025. Amluck, Chemice. And where we're parking overnight is the harbour, which is just over there. And we are that end of the there. Sorry about the wobble. Never said I was a professional, did I? And there is parking there, which you can just see there, but I don't think it's adequate really for what you need if you want to do a quick overnight here or something like that. Um, there we are. And we're just getting closer to the uh, tidal bell now. And that sea, look how calm it is. Now we had some quite, uh, the wind picked up earlier this afternoon when we had Craig over visiting who stopped over for a cup of tea in a chinwag. That's the one in the big blue uh, Mercedes van. Here's a picture of it now. Back to me. Right. And this is St. Patrick's Bell. Look. There. And there it is. So that, that's going to ring later on tonight. Oh, as soon as that tide starts coming in. Fantastic. All adds to the atmosphere, doesn't it, about being away. Now I kayaked over there and went round the side of the, uh, the side of the head there and carried on in that way and that's where I caught that big pollock. And fantastic, really loved it. It's a, it's a, it's a natural deep water harbour out there. Which is great, and yes, there they are, public toilets, which are shut at the moment, but it is after six, so there's a good chance. And there's a guy in a van. <coughs> and there you can see, look, the, uh, the rocks there. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'd imagine if you came in from that side over there, you could... Uh, you might be able to fish over the wall onto there. You never know. So, right, I'll shut up. Here's a lovely view, look, onto the marina. 
and a lovely view down there as well. God, I'd love to kayak along there. Let's have a look on the other side. Ah, that's beautiful, that is. I love the way the natural landscape is shaped. Basil will not walk anymore. He won't let me go any further. So I just wanted to quickly show you the high street in Kenai, so you know what's here. So, you've got a little coffee shop just there, and then you've got a fish and chip shop there. Um, just further over there, there's some kind of takeaway as well. And then you've got a butcher's, a bit of a bric-a-brac shop, mixture of this, that and the other. And then just over in the corner there, you've got a McCall's where you can buy bits and bobs. And that's pretty much your shops for this area. Um, come on, Basil. He's had enough. He really has had enough. Come on, Basil. We're going back now. He hates me. Yeah, Basil. Come on. Look at that despondent dog. Can you see him? Look. There he is, look. Basil doesn't do rain. And just down here as well, you can see uh, a pub called the Stag. There, look, you see that white building. And then just down there, past the Stag, is the uh, road which leads down to the harbour, on the harbour wall. Uh, so that'd be good for fishing. Well, I hope anyway. I'm going to have a quick look and have a quick recce, so we shall can it here. Oh, by the way, there it is a. A little shop that sells a few bits, bits and bobs, and there, there's a pub. Ye Old Vigor Hotel. There you go. And there's public toilets back up that way as well. Well, this is the next day. Bit of a windy one today. Uh, you can see what the tide looks like when it's in now. Um, just waiting for Tracy, and then we're going to pop into the town and uh, get a bite to eat. But yeah, lovely little place. Bit of a hidden gem, really. And we had a great night's sleep. Um, and over to that side, you can see there. Well, the wind's picked up. You can see over there the harbour area. And also, from a kayaking point of view, because it is windy today, but if you look, because the bay's quite sheltered, you could get out, even if you turned up and you weren't sure of the weather, you could get out and have a little splash around the bay. Uh, so you'd be pretty safe. So, we'll get off into town and grab something to eat. Okay, we've uh, gone into a place called Eleanor Jane's Cafe, which is on the high street in Chemice Bay. And we just wanted to, with the agreement of the owner, just give a quick description of the place. There's lots of home-cooked uh, bakeries on offer, local produce. And inside there you've got a counter as well, which is serving pasties. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> serving pasties, uh, fresh baked products, sweets and stuff like that which are absolutely gorgeous. The menu is uh, all day breakfast plus other eateries and it is very nice, very worth recommending. So if you're out for a day out and uh, looking for somewhere just to nip in and refuel and stuff like that, this is definitely worth a visit. And if you're the kind of person who prefers fried mushrooms, not out of a tin, boiled, another reason to visit here. So. So there we go, yeah. I'll put a picture of the front of the cafe on the blog and you can see where it is. And very reasonably priced, good food, friendly staff, well worth recommending. And try to avoid the cakes because they look far too nice. I hope you enjoyed it, it's well worth a visit. And just a quick notice, look at that. <laughs> Sky, believing better, state of that. <clears throat> so we're going to make our way off now because uh, the weather's turning and we're...